Hello. We good? Is it me you're looking for? Well, if it is you you're looking for, you're in the right spot. Look, welcome back. We are in the duck call room, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the podcast. It's good to be back. Goblin, how are you? Perfect. That's better than good, you know. All right. What, since it's December. December. What are your plans for the month of December? What are my plans for the month of December? What's that? Family show. Family show? Okay. Yeah, I was just oh. oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays. Uh, I'm just going. Man's empty nester. Fish and hunt and make duck calls. Make duck calls. <laughs> well. Boy, that sounds like your plans for November and January, too. That's exactly right. And October. February. January. January. Well, there's not as much hunting in February. No, we'll be hunting up in big slab crappies in February. Oh, That's when it, that big start slab starts. Crappie, I'll boy. probably be hunting them up in a couple of days. Because oh, I him. smoked them the he other day. He said he may try them a little few times in December. Do you have plans, si? Yeah. I'm not so <laughs> going to enjoy being alive. He's going to enjoy <laughs> being and, uh, <laughs> you know, pretty well healthy, okay, except for the COPD. Hey, so, you, seem, you seem on it today, though. I don't, well, I don't know. To, I don't want to put any pressure on you. The but most you seem important spry. thing about the month of December that was when Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born. Good night. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus' birthday cake. We're gonna yeah. have to build that anyway, since my daughter's gone. Well, hey, there you go. In honor of her. I want. That's cake. pretty awesome. Can you imagine? He knew what we was gonna do. Jesus knew everything we've ever done. And he still came down here anyway. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. That's why it's the greatest story that's ever been told. It yeah. is. What it do you really think is. he was like as a toddler? I'm assuming the know. exact opposite of mine. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. No, not really. No? Have you met my daughter? I, I'm just saying. No, <laughs> not really. Because, hey, look, he was human. Okay? But, so, hey, but, he was a normal toddler. I'm telling you. I wonder if But he, he was perfect. Did he get well, a spanking? Hey, I'm just saying. I doubt it. Did Mary ever give him a spanking? If they was good parents, yes. <laughs> oh. Y'all, you Sa- got, oh. Sa- no, ready to no, spank. No, well, no, no. Savior oh, of the world. No, no, yeah. but not on that, because I was just fixing to tell you. I said, can uh, you imagine? Okay. You're talking about the creator of the cosmos. Yeah. Can you imagine having a okay. disciplining? Yeah. I don't but he was perfect. So yeah. did he need discipline? I'm gonna go with yeah. He was that. Because we don't we don't have anything from his childhood except for the wise the man part of it. That was probably and one, that's probably years old. where that verse raised him up in the way he should go, and he'll never depart from it. Well, no, no, yeah. that's why I'm saying. Okay, you got to understand. Okay, most people have trouble. They missed the most important part about Jesus. He was God, deity in human form. Yeah. He was flesh and blood, so no, he was just like us, okay? Do you think he took a nap? He was just like oh, us, yeah. but he never I, messed I'm up. Ta- well, no, no, <laughs> with that one exception. He never he never sinned, okay? But I'm telling you, you know, that's why it's so important when, like, when he was in the garden and he, he he's literally bleeding tears, okay, when he's talking to the Father and he shows his humanity by saying, Hey, is is this the only really the only way we can do this? Okay, because he knew it before he even came down. Okay, what was going to happen? Okay, because that was the plan. Did you just ask if he ever took a nap? Mm-hmm. He did. Yeah. yeah. No, I was talking about as a kid. Oh. Yeah. Like was he unruly during yeah. nap time in kindergarten? Yeah. I was. I was. I never took a nap. Yeah, I, I didn't. Mary coming I, out. Who 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 knocked over that flyer? Well, I don't know if I ever took a nap. Jesus did it. Yeah. Well, Jesus didn't lie. That's all we know. If it was him, he said, I'm sorry, mother, it was me. (laughs) I don't know if I ever took a nap during school, but I know I was, uh, uh, how to put this? I was was in another another dimension, okay? Another dimension. Jesus. Uh, This is going somewhere. The teacher was calling my name, and I went, shh. I'm slipping him on a 12-point mark. Adolescent Jesus. That's a good thought. <laughs> because we have the boy Jesus at the temple, and I think he was yep. 12. Yeah. yeah. 
And he just he in there preaching. Uh, and but he's from, amazing them. But from okay. the manger to twelve. Yeah. We got I mean right. lots of questions. We got the wise men <laughs> brought him some gifts. And I think that's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. That's a good. Remember when we used it to do the "What are you going to ask yeah, about?" Yeah, because yeah. uh, I, I mean, my kids are seven, five, and two, was, and they do a, not act was like you Jesus. A problem child. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I guess he wasn't though. He no. couldn't have been. He well, probably, I know he amazed them, all the rabbis. Okay. Yeah, when at he was 12. twelve. Okay, because he had so much knowledge. Okay, but hmm. I'm still. Yeah, you know, I'm firm on how he was. He was a normal child. He was a normal, normal child. Yeah, well, without yeah. without the sin part. Okay. What do so, that, hey, that gets, but at that which makes age? Him, that makes him not normal. Well, what I'm <laughs> but, saying is, yeah. which age in there does sin kick in? Right. From zero to twelve. I at mean, what, that's at what which I'm age saying. are we? That depends nowadays. Yeah. Okay, a lot of people used to have a certain age. No, no, that's that. Uh, you ain't gonna put. Nope. Just, nah. I said, you ain't going to, nope, not, he ain't giving me an answer yet other than no. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, there is no certain I believe age. it's the first time you do something and your conscience Well, you says, know, okay. Well, yeah, maybe you know. Maybe that wasn't what I was supposed okay. to do. You know when you sin, because God put it in you to know that. Well, yeah. and he, he gave you the conscience. I got a seven-year-old, well, and you can up. see it in him. At one point, he'd just do stuff, and he'd do, he didn't know he was doing anything wrong. Yeah. Now, when he knows, he's sneaking. Mm. And he's the sneakiest little kid. He tiptoes <laughs> thinking he's, he ain't sneaky at all. But sometimes he try. I'm like, what are you doing? And that's what he looks at you like, oh, no, I've been caught. Yeah. <laughs> so Jesus probably never was tiptoeing around. No. Right? He, he, he never he wanted to do something. He just did it. Because he didn't want to do it. But he never wanted to do what he was told not to. How about that? Jesus always obeyed his parents. That's one of them. That's one of them. I mean, love keeps no record of wrongs, yeah, but that's my children one of them, this week like uh, the good gracious. politician said there are some things you, that you can know for sure, but then there's other things that they will stay unknown. Just unknowable. Yeah, just unknowable. So that's one of them things. They're like atoms. You can't trust them. <laughs> can't trust atoms. Okay. Especially if people, if because human beings start messing with it. <laughs> this is going wild. I mean, Goblin, Goblin with the educated joke over here. That I missed funny. it. I just totally. I was. That's good. Touche, friend. Touche. I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch uh, the episode because I just. Talk, this, I, welcome said, to this podcast on this heavy discussion. You can't trust atoms. That's right, boys. Hey, you got it. You got that, JD? Because they make up everything. That's right. Uh, you can't trust atoms. Uh, Goblin yeah, with the educated right. humor yeah, over here today. There it is. is. <laughs> well, I'm glad I missed it because somebody right now just got it. Yeah. The, somebody's yeah. driving their truck and go, oh, I get it. Yeah, I want to say because they make up everything. That's like, <laughs> they make oh. up everything. Hey, of course, great. I couldn't really oh. differentiate between a T or a D. I was like, is he talking about like Adam, <laughs> like Adam and Eve or Atom? You know, I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I knew what he was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. then when well, he said, because yeah. they make up everything, yeah. so they I make said, up everything. oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. I, I heard you. that on that new, the new Ghostbusters. New Ghostbusters. You, go you done went to the picture show? Yeah. I, I, me and Paula, we never stopped That was dating. actually a funny movie. The new one? Did you go see? Well, no, no I ain't seen the new one. The, go the original was a funny what show. What you need to do, hey, though, just is so watch the old one and then go watch the, it's It was a pretty good storyline behind it. So the other It day, actually worked. So Ghostbusters, we're talking about Ghostbusters? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I was like, hey, kids, here's a cool song. Let's go watch this movie. That is not a children's program. The new one? The old one. Oh. How the about- PG meant something different in the 80s than it does now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I started watching it, and we made about five minutes before I said, you know what? Let's go find Blue's Clues or something. Maybe not. Maybe Quite you just ready need for to loosen up on your parenting a little bit. This was, I mean. You mean you there with them? Well, yeah. PG but, means get ready to cover their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's your job. I that's putting some ready. ownership on the parent. Like, you, you got to be that, prepared though. for here yeah. or to grab that mute button. Uh, if it went past PG and I went to the show, I went down front and sat by myself. That way nobody see you there? Or nobody could cover your eyes? Nobody could cover my eyes. <laughs> and nobody covered that, eyes, boys. I'm so confused. Like, can I just so sit confused. down in the front row? Yeah, I want to yeah, sit on the very down. front row where yeah. nobody else sits. <laughs> yeah. 
that's wonderful oh well Eddie. this one i think we can't ramble anymore here we are for another episode <laughs> what well, did we just cover ghostbusters oh. chi- jesus as a toddler and adams adams, adams. adams. So welcome one, back to the duck call the room hey, they table. make up everything preach it well look yep. Let's take our first break. <laughs> See if we can. Oh, there's up only some one way to go from it here. It goes fast when you're having fun. Amen. Hey, Zippity doo dah. Guess what, Sai? I know. It's back by 35 years of research and development. For it's, what? For all of your joints? That's right. How many of them do you have? 360. You have 360 right. joints. And hey, every once in a while, they get inflamed. And it's painful. They take a beating. Oh, but then, hey, there is a solver. What's the it's solver? It's called Omega XL, boys. I call it my first responders. Thank you. I pop two of them every, every morning, okay? Mm-hmm. They rush right to the site of the inflammation. Yep. And then it's gone, boy. That's because you're... you're you, it's gone because I'm 73 years old. Yeah. You, you youngsters don't, don't have to fool with that crap. Well, it helps me, too, but uh, your body doesn't produce as much SPMs as mine. Did you well, know that's hey, why? That's go. the way SPMs? our joints are kept healthy. But Omega XL, that thick, that, it us. rejuvenates joints and muscles. and that's has right. you. That's why you're... Business. I mean, you're in here today like a young boxer. You that's just right. you look and it's good. it's only found good. in one place. Where is the that pristine place? waters of New Zealand, That's boys. what I'm talking about, baby. Uh, Martin, tell them where to get it. Well, heck, y'all doing such a good job. I thought I had this one off. That is right. Look, when you get older, the SPMs are not produced like they used to. So that's why you take Omega XL. There you go. Omega XL can restore your SPMs, rejuvenate joints and muscles so you can move like when you were young. Can your supplement do that? Probably not. Order Omega XL and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck and get one free. Don't forget that. Second bottle is free. Call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. One more time. Not one, but two bottles. That's right. Thank you. you. Two bottles. The last one is free, baby. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine in my way. Not that good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it's go. headed my way. That's what I said. Okay. Only different. Uh, well, right. well, look, anyway, I got to spend the weekend with Willie, first of all. That's kind of fun. Oh, What's he okay. doing these days? Uh, where did y'all go? We were at the SEC Championship okay. doing a deal for uh, our friends over at Pit Boss Grills. We got... You didn't bring none of them sausages back. Well, did you? see, yeah, we, you were with Johnsonville. And Johnsonville. I mean, Uh-oh. of things that you can Brats. hang your hat on, working for Johnsonville sausage seems to be one of them. Well, what I'm telling you, like, that is the peak of redneck stardom. When you get to go eat free sausage and judge a cooking contest that at the a- SEC championship. <gasps> You don't get no bigger as a redneck than that right there. Ooh. I mean, that's Larry the Cable Guy yeah. Bill Dance status. Yeah. I guarantee yeah. you. That's you, Justin. Yeah. Oh, man, it was so good. But those people did some things with some sausage I ain't ever seen before, and it, it was A-OK. And what you didn't bring any of them back for us? No. God. Why would I do that? What were you I had thinking? To I, had to the plane. I had to eat them and judge the contest. <laughs> Yeah, they but come you should have said, hey, they bring come me to take, a box of them to take home with me. They come to take my plate. I said, no, 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 no. Th- th- just th- leave th- that th- there. Th- not so th- fast. Th- I ain't done I've with him I've already tasted yet. and judged it, but now I'm with the rest of Yeah, I ain't done with him yet. I ain't done with boys. Because the lady in the contest, she made a gumbo po' boy. Gumbo po' boy? Oh, yeah. Explain How did it. that work? Mm-hmm. Well, so it was an andouille sausage in a bun. Uh-huh. Okay topped with all the gumbo toppings that you would normally get so like the trinity just one, soup some yeah. okra yeah some lump crab meat okay mm. huh. some shrimp okay man and her side which was probably my favorite thing that i ate the whole time was greens Green. That woman made some greens that was your favorite thing you ate at a barbecue contest well because they couldn't get too creative with the well, sausage because they only had 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but what she did to them greens. What'd she do to it? I have no idea. I asked her. She said they were made with love. That's all she told me. That's all she did. And uh, man, they were good. Like, look, you, you gripe about greens tasting like dirt. Yeah. Mm. 
these didn't taste nothing like that. Like? I know what you're talking about too when you say they taste these. Unlike yeah. any greens you ever had, they were fan. Well, I'll take a no thank you portion. But well, hey, here's you'd one. go back in on them. Trust well, me. I, I tell you, depending on the who, who prepared them, because if you don't wash greens properly, oh, they will taste like dirt because it's dirt on them. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Them things were. But then <laughs> well, the I other guy, serious. the other guy, made me mad because he did something with sausage that I ain't ever even thought about doing. So he called it a Hasselback style sausage. You know, Hasselback, like we had them taters that time where they cut the little slits in them and then smash them. Oh. Well, that's kind of what he did with the sausage. He cut the little slits in them, and then he took a toothpick, and he made like a sausage donut. A donut? It looked like a hamburger patty, but like a donut, because, you know, sausage leave a hole in the middle. Oh. And he cooked that thing whole like that on that grill. Buddy. Buddy. And then in that little, inside of the donut, he put his homemade cheese sauce concoction. And then put that on a bun. Man. It was real. My man. It was real. My man. No, when you took right. that first bite, stuff just went everywhere. Oh. You couldn't put it back down. Like, yep. that's one of them, that you just got to hold till you're yeah, done no, with it, no. and then you put him down. Yeah, then you need to go take a shower. So, who, who won? <laughs> the guy with the sausage burger hey, won it. Sausage, sausage burger. burger. But, I'll say this, the lady with the gumbo on a, uh, on a bun, a gumbo po' boy, Man, that thing was good too. They were both real. I see how they were the top two. Like I, yeah. I, I always thought I wanted to be on like Chopped or one of those shows as a judge, and then I did that, and I was like, man, these are both really good. And I, I'm not qualified enough to critique this yeah. like the other yeah. people are. But you know, we got to do that. Well, and then the we, rosemary just didn't tickle my palate like it should. Yeah, but they were man, they were good. It was it was fun. Yeah, the rose. It was a good time. Then we ended up at the game the and got to watch the goat be the goat, yeah. and you know Nick Saban, unbelievable. Yeah. Sai, did you see that? Huh. Oh, what? You haven't seen Brian Kelly's fake Southern accent yet. Huh. Huh. LSU hired a new coach. No. He's from Massachusetts. I don't even know how to say Massachusetts. Oh, he's the one Notre Dame from Notre Dame. Yeah, and he showed up to a basketball game. He's like. Well, me and my family down here now, and you know, we just really appreciate this great state of Louisiana. <laughs> and I was like, "Well, huh? Mr. Mr. Kelly, you you got to stop, man. Like, just come in here, do your thing, be who you are. You're gonna make Jack Bash one of the greatest tight ends in he the said, world." He said, "My family, and, yeah. <laughs> I just you ain't got to do all that. Like, look, you're in Louisiana, people. Is half of us he is, was doing it as a joke." No. Yes, he was. Well, it just yes, happened. Yes and I, no. I'm it just you. I, it, you, you ain't oh. got to do that to us. You know how you know what you do to get in Louisiana? <laughs> win. Just go down there and win. <laughs> Ask Sean Payton. Show he, up and win. Sean Payton. I don't even know where he's from anymore. He just is Louisiana. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because he's won, and you don't hear nothing about. about. Him. So well, Mr. Kelly. Good luck to you. I'm open to liking you, but <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> You got to produce, right? <laughs> Martin disapproves of LSU's hey, you latest You got to produce, hire. boys. I just—he's part of your family, Martin. He's a coach. He's the coach. He's the coach. <laughs> He's from the deep south. But he came from Notre Dame. Notre Dame. <laughs> the deep southern part of yeah. the family in Notre Dame. Yeah. I don't even know how to do a southern. I assume well, I just see. talk like that I, anyway. I, I again, I'm open to liking him. I think that. it was a great Well, movie. let's take our next break. We'll be back right after this. Roll Tide! Goblin? Yes, sir. How you enjoying your soft hole gun magnet in your truck? <laughs> you ain't supposed to know that's there. Yeah, but I do know that's there because you took it from in here. <laughs> so, hey, it's black. It matches my truck perfectly. So nobody knows. Nobody so basically, knows what, what we're saying is don't come slipping up don't on your window. Don't come slipping up on my window. We believe in the there thing called the Second Amendment. And Absolutely. the right to keep it close to us. Absolutely. Via a fantastic magnet. Just in case you folks don't know what gun magnets are, we are talking about the soft hole gun magnets that you can mount in your truck, yeah. under your desk, or anywhere you want easy access to your gun. Legit. Cool thing is, odds are, if you're listening to us, then you know a gun owner that could probably use a magnet to hold their weapon in place. They make excellent Christmas gifts for any gun enthusiast. A couple of our Duck Call Room listeners, John and Lori, set out to make the best gun magnets money can buy, and boy, did they ever. The soft hole gun magnet 
Fantastic. They're made by hand in their garage, and John ended up getting a magnet with a perfect size and strength built to his custom specs. They wrap that neodymium magnet in top grain leather to keep it from scratching your gun and voila, soft hold gun magnets were born with perfect holding power and perfect good looks. Where can you mount them? Anywhere. Anywhere that something can be mounted and you may need a weapon, you got it right here. Car, truck, tractor, bed, duck blind, safe, under your desk, under a store counter, literally anywhere you can put it every soft hold gun magnet is handcrafted in america with this verse from first thessalonians on the back test all things hold fast what is good the 50 pound pull magnet is designed to keep your full size fully loaded gun secure on even the roughest roads in america we use them in louisiana so you know they pass that test these look good anywhere you mount them even when your gun isn't attached get an american patriot magnet armed and beautiful come and take it or even ask about your own custom logo you spend 500 to a thousand bucks on the perfect gun so why would you want to put a cheap magnet on that'll scratch your investment buy the best buy american you can't always carry your gun on your hip but when you need it close soft hold is the choice for american gun owners like you this christmas give yourself or someone you love the one gun accessory you'll use forever a soft hold gun magnet but order now because this is a small business and supplies will be limited as Christmas gets closer. Use the promo code DUCK at checkout to get a 10% discount off your entire order over at softhold.com. That's S-O-F-H-O-L-D.com. There's no T in there. S-O-F-Hold.com. Promo code DUCK for 10% off your entire order. You think Santa gets any of these to put in people's stockings? No, but he probably keep one under that sleigh. Can I say something? You can say something. Yeah. Little Debbie should send us some of that ice cream. Sorry, I've been thinking here. Little Debbie. Do you know how much Little Debbie we have sold in this room? And because I, I was thinking, like, we're about to just sell a bunch you know of how much? Do you know how much Little Debbie we have eaten in this uh, room? No, in this room? <laughs> no, you should see the pictures. People now just send me pictures. It's not real. It's no, no, not, not of the ice cream. Yeah, I was no. still. Now it's people. Not real. I think we've ma- we've confused I've people to pictures. think. That uh, the 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 Christmas tree cakes mm. are real are hard to find. No, they're not. No, and they're well, not, no. People keep sending me like pictures of like twenty cases. They're like, "Hey, I got them all," and I'm like, "You don't have to do that." <laughs> yeah, you do. Sure, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Especially you, you got to do it around December the twentieth. Yeah. See, yeah. look at this guy. He got a mountain of them. Yeah, you need that last batch. It's the he I got on size shirt oh, too. Look, he got some regulation I mean, honey bun uh, too. Oh, hey, he got I on know. size t shirt. What kind of hat is that? Duck, Duck Dynasty. Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Yeah. He got a full sleeve tattoo. Well, no, nah, that's a that's a real tree gospel. Oh, well, and well, just yeah. beautiful Christmas tree cakes. Well, hey. Yeah, but them chocolate ones are gar. You know, well, we need, but it's, oh, he's it's, from Canada. It's the Canada. That's Big Papa Hooves from Doofville, uh, Ontario, Canada. All the way up in Canada. Golly. I bet you it's cold up there. No, that's why we ain't got no ducks. It's still no, like 50 cold. degrees. Up Apparently, those are hard to find in Canada, though. I would Might suspect be. that would be a little more difficult. Yeah. <sighs> well, Big Papa Hooves. I love your name. Mailed you a big old cup of I coffee. I like your beard. And sit down and have you a ball. <laughs> Sorry. I thought we were still at break. I was just mad no, we about did. I was thinking about that ice cream again. Well, the ice cream's not real. I was at Auburn University. And I walked out there and I was in a goofy mood and handed the mic. And I said, Hey, I've heard that y'all have got the most amazing thing that y'all do before a football game. Yeah. I said, y'all turn some kind of stupid bird loose. And they all yell, War Eagle! You know? yeah. And I said, hey, let me tell you what y'all need to do with him. I said, y'all can need to kill that sucker. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it took them about 10 minutes to calm down. And I said, hey, let me explain why. Yeah, you need to explain yeah. why they should kill yeah. an endangered species. I said, species. hey, look, y'all, step, y'all, y'all turn him loose, and he flies around the stupid stadium about twice and then lands on the 50-yard line. I said, y'all need to wring that sucker's neck, okay, and get you a new one and train him, okay, to fly around twice and light in the opposite football team's end zone where your runners and your receivers will know where to go. <laughs> I got booed and hissed for about 15 minutes. Because right now they're just stopping <laughs> at the 50. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said, because, hey, they get to the 50 and they quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
You ain't right, man. Oh, no, I know. Uh, I, I had more fun doing I'm surprised you didn't just say Roll Tide and Auburn. Half of them would have cheered because they don't know what they are. War Eagle, no. Go Tigers, Roll Tide, Go Dawg. Well, yeah. look, hey, Auburn, Auburn is a confusing community. Well, no, no. They, hey, the, the whole state, state of Alabama confuses you, No, no, me. it is. No, the rest look, of them just say Roll Alabama, Tide. You got Alabama and, and, and Auburn that play the Iron Bowl. Against mm-hmm. each other. I dated and a girl from Alabama. One, the last one that they did was out of this world. That's good, wasn't it? Oh, what you saw? No, about? because Auburn lost, and I well, wanted hey, to win because it, it would have made good me laugh. Game. I, I just, you know, four overtimes. Yeah. And hey, and there was some serious ball playing on both sides. I don't know how they pick though. Yeah. Because like I dated this girl from Alabama, and like her sister was an Alabama fan, and she was an Auburn fan, and their cousins didn't like each other and i was like what is just pay everybody be on the same which one's closer go with them yeah which one do you like the colors of you like blue and orange you like red and white i don't know how it happens with that when you just brought up about alabama woman that reminded me about billy gibbons buckle up was going for a show somewhere and they went through uh ros what's roswell uh new mexico new mexico where the the Aliens supposed to be landed. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody asked him, he said, hey, you going in? And Billy said, no. He said, I married a woman from Alabama. I'm married to an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Billy <laughs> Gibbs, friend of Eric Clapton. Hey, no, no, look. I, I loved it, okay? <laughs> he said, no, I ain't going in there. I married a woman from Alabama. I'm married to an alien. Oh, oh Gibbons, that's a good man. No, no, he's a cool dude. He yeah. is a good him man. And, him and his buddy both. Yeah. On his business, and his buddy have, went to heaven already. Yeah. You know, I have Billy Gibbons' business card. He handed it to me and told me to call him. He's sometime. a cool man, and it's it doesn't say ZZ Top. It doesn't. It says Billy Gibbons, <laughs> friend of Eric Clapton. Yep. that's exactly what it. <laughs> I need to do that to mine. Oh, no. The fact that Billy John Gibbons, David Owen, friend of Cy Roberts. The fact that Billy Gibbons will text you back too is incredible. Hold like, on. I mean, he's he just, a cool dude. Oh, he's fantastic. He really is. Yeah, yeah. he's he's he quality. Is, he is quality uh, human. Yeah, quality. He's quality a good man. Human. Sure is. Yeah, we've but, run, we've run across a lot of them kind of people. With a heck know? of a beer, you know. That was a that I just I still can't get over how good it, his job Nick Saban is. He's just that dang good. Are man. you back on Nick Saban? No, I just get to thinking I'm about back. it, and I'm like, man, Billy Gibbons is better. They're the same. Job. Well, no, no, but they're hey, about the same. You got to think about it. Okay, for about 65 years, three people, their drummer and them two, have been on the top of the charts for 65 plus years, Jack. And are still doing it. And are still. Because they love it. Strong. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference in them. They're doing it because well, they love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the reason that your boy over in Tuscaloosa is so good. You ain't going to be the greatest at whatever you're doing if you don't love it. Like uh, they got. Oh, he put right. in the time. You know? Okay. You know, like you're talking about. And it's the same uh, reason you can say Phil Robertson is arguably the greatest duck hunter that's ever lived. That's the only thing he wants out of life. That's all he wants. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, Just he took a. Shoot a Mallard Drake at 25 yards, boy. He took a gar hole piece of property that nobody could do nothing with. Might as well have been condemned. Oh, yeah. And yeah. turned it into a fairly decent duck hole. Yep. <laughs> I mean, all things considered. Might as well be condemned. It re- I mean, well, no, no. You it can't do nothing hey, it ain't with good it. for nothing. Yeah. The wood on it is doty. Yeah. Okay, because it's always on the water. Yeah. The water gets down there. The water depth down there during flood days is like 25 feet. And half the time, you yeah. can't even drive to it. Yeah, you can't so get I mean, it's, to it. Hey, we've left his house, walked out the steps, stepped in the boat, and motored. To the duck sure hole. Yeah, sure hand. Okay. What Cy si didn't tell you is we had to park on top of the hill and walk down yeah. to his house. Yeah, Because <laughs> yeah, he couldn't drive water, her. Water's up there. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't, it, it, it was not good for anything else. Except in heat, yo. Nah, he and look, the way it started, him and a time. friend of his walked out in some flooded, some timber, okay? Oak trees. With two chains off. <laughs> And his friends said, "Reroute these woods, yeah. boys." And that's <laughs> what—that's how that duck hole began. Mike Williams. Hey, Mike about Williams. To ask which friend? They was started it? cutting down oak trees, and the first year they was hunting, you know, just with oak trees laying everywhere. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right I'm serious. Where the lake is. Yeah. yeah, where the lake is. Okay, yeah, they cleared the lake. 
You know, clear. Then he finally made a little money, okay, and finally brought a dozer yeah. in, pushed all that stuff up and burned it and everything else. Yeah. But that's what separates them people. That's how you get from, you know, the Tiger Woods of the world down to whoever, like, you know, and Nick Saban and Phil Robertson in the duck world or who Billy Gibbons in music, music. You know, I mean, it's just, they it's just do it. Cy, Ro- Cy Robertson and storytelling. Absolutely. Like, yeah. They don't think about <laughs> he it. He loves it. They just <laughs> go to doing it. Yeah. That's the first thing on their mind when they wake up every morning. A lot of fun. But you got to keep it fun. Oh, oh no. Keep we it real. Win. Keep it fun. We but you know what's fun? fun? <sighs> Winning. <laughs> Catching a big old crappie. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, most people say, well, no, it's about the game. No, it ain't. <clears throat> when it gets right down to it, it's all about winning. <clears throat> yeah. It's better to win. Okay. Ain't that the truth? That show makes it. I'm like, okay, you want to be poor or rich? I've been both. Rich, it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> way more fun. Hey, eh? way more fun. You eat better, okay, because anyway. you can buy, you can actually buy stuff that you want. Yeah. You know, not just look at it and say, "Man, I wish I could." One of these days, I wish I could have that. What's well, funny is. He's talking uh, about a raccoon skin hat. That's uh, that's the thing that he yeah. was well, waiting hey, on. But I'm just telling you, no. Uh, <laughs> he wore it in the blind. He took it off. He actually took it off. He said it's too hot. No, he no. He took it off. I had to. Oh, hey, uh, man. You talking about, you know. First time I heard Phil say that. He said, I've been both rich and poor. He said, I must say rich is way more oh, fun. Oh, no, no. Hey, okay, <laughs> He okay. said, I'm the same person. He said, this is just way more fun. But, hey, there's just <laughs> lot, just so many more opportunities that open up for you. <laughs> oh, buddy. Look, that's a good opportunity for our next break. We'll be back. Take right another break. Oh, wow. Well, the good news is it's hunting season, and uh, Sal's not in the office much, so our HR department has not been near as busy as they <laughs> normally are. <laughs> so they look forward to hunting season just because they get a break. But look, if you're running a business, HR issues can absolutely kill you. Wrongful termination suits, minimum wage requirements, labor regulations, and all the paperwork that you can get into. They just they eat you up. HR manager salaries aren't cheap. An average of seventy thousand dollars per year. Bambi spelled B A M B E E was created specifically with a small business in mind. You can get a dedicated HR manager, craft HR policy, and maintain your compliance all for just ninety nine dollars a month. That's ninety nine dollars a month with Bambi. You change HR from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat. From onboarding to terminations, they customize your policies to fit your business and help you manage your employees day-to-day, all for just $99 a month. It's month-to-month. There are no hidden fees. You can cancel anytime. You didn't start your business because you wanted to spend time on HR compliance. Let Bambi help get your free HR audit today. Go to Bambi.com slash duck right now to schedule your free HR audit. That's Bambi.com slash duck. Spelled BAM to the B-E-E dot com slash duck. There you go. Look, duck. we're approaching a new year. Maybe next year's the year you end all your HR worries. All right. Hey, here's what I'm into right now, boys. What okay. are you doing? This ought to be good. No, no, it is. Look, Phil, most of the time, Phil and Kay, most of the time for uh, Thanksgiving and for Christmas, okay? Mostly Thanksgiving. Always do the duck and dressing. Yeah, well, I had some there, you know, for Thanksgiving, and then you I had just, some ducks. boy, I got I got hungry for dressing again. Amen. So we went duck hunting another day, and we killed a few woodies. So I said, hey, you know, they started picking a few. Phil said, I want a couple, you know, and Chad, the nurse practitioner, said, yeah, I want a couple to make. I'm gonna make dressing. I said, hey, I jumped back out of the truck, grabbed me a couple of them, picked them. I said, I'm in, I'm gonna make me some dressing, duck dressing. So I did two pots. And I called Stone. This was last night. I done them, me and my woman. You know, and I done two pots, and I made two different types because I wanted to try something. I actually seen in my mind my mother putting Borden's sweet condensed milk in the dressing. You know, and I told Phil about it. Phil said, eh, I don't think so. And I said, I'm telling you, I seen Mama put some of that in there, Okay. So I made two pots. One was with that, and one was just regular pet milk. You know, so I called Stone last night. I said, what are you doing right now? Called him about 4 o'clock. I said, hey, what are you doing? And he said, uh, I'm at the house. I ain't doing nothing. I said, I need you to do me a favor. He said, what's that? I said, 
He said, I might, but I might not. Tell me what, you know, I said, okay. It ain't, I said, ain't no big deal. That's the most I said, all it is, I said, I've just You took- know the first thing I ask people when they say that? What? How much is it going to take me to get out of this? <laughs> Well, no, no. Yeah. How, much, how much does it cost yeah. for me to get out yeah. of this right yeah. Stone, now? Stone said, "I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not." I said, "Well, hey, let's just settle down." I said, "I just, I said, yo, yeah. I said, I'm just now took two, uh, about twelve by sixteen, uh, uh, pans? cornbread, no pans, skillets, uh, pans of of dressing out of the oven. Mm-hmm. They're they're doing." I said, uh, "I said what it is. I've, I've tried two different recipes." I said, "I want you. I trust you." I said, come over here and taste some, eat some of it, and tell me whether it's, you know, gar, throw that crap away, or, or is it decent? You know, and he said, well, okay. He said, give me back 30 minutes, I'll be over. So he comes over and, you know, so he takes one spoon out of the one thing, you know, and he eats a little bit of it, and he said, all right, what, what's uh, you trying to do here? I said, well, one of them has got sweets in it. I said, you know, and my wife said it's a little too sweet for her. I said, but I actually like it. And he had just took the one out of the, that had the sweets in, and he said, well, this you put sugar or something in this one. I can tell. He said, it's got a little, you know, sweet flavor. And I said, yeah, that's the one. And I said, now taste the other one. So he said, you know, he just moved it over to one side and put another spoon in there and ate that one. And I said, all right, tell me the truth. I said, is, is it decent to eat or just should throw the whole mess out? You know, and I said, because I actually like it, you know. And he said, no, it's good. He said, "I would, I would cut back on the vegetables a little bit because I, I, I like vegetables, a lot of vegetables." And he said, "Plus, it's a little." He said, "Maybe I told him I said I used, only used a half a can of that condensed milk, sweet your milk." Yeah. He said, "Well, make it a third. He said it was a little too. He said it's good, but it, yo, know, make it a third. So I did, but I like it, but." If you ate that with something spicy, like if you if you like really over seasoned your duck or you know you had well something. no 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 because see that's the thing the consistency of it okay because I was I wanted more flavor Mama's was better flavor than Phil's and mine yeah okay so I'm trying to get the flavor back yeah and like I can't get off of it matter of fact I had two big hey. I had two big bowls of it before I come up hey, here next time you huh. need a taste tester yeah. Call your boy that's tipping the scales at about 260 yeah, okay, instead of the okay, one that's yeah. bumping down there around 150. Well, yeah, hey, but hey, know, he, hey I gotta, yeah, but Stone's a workout king, okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah hey, nah, just, but he don't hey, eat. Yeah, but hey, the boy is a chef, okay? He's a chef, but he don't he, eat. Well, hey, He's a meat uh, cooker. Yeah, yeah but hey, let's not yeah, call he ain't it, the guy you nah, want for boy sweet and condensed dressing. No, nah, y'all bad mouth my man Stone. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't going to put up with that. No. The boy is a full-fledged chef, in my humble opinion. No, okay? he's a meat connoisseur. Well, now, he is mainly on but hey. The boy cooks good food. Okay? That'd be like calling why Bobby Flay and asking him to taste your dessert. Like, that ain't Flay's deal, man. Like, if you're trying to impress well, hey, somebody, look, Amanda you should have asked Anna. Uh, That's who you should have asked. Uh, about what? To taste your stuff. No. You should have asked Nan. No. Out of them two. I love her, but I ain't. No. Why didn't you take no. it to Phil? Huh? Hey, I, I can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's going to probably say his is better than mine, and if the truth is, this batch I just got through cooking, both of them beat his hand down. So when you're talking about vegetables, though, you're talking about just like celery, onion. Oh, no. Yeah, like, okay, and I bought, I garlic. went to Brookshire, and I bought uh, one one square package of chopped up bell pepper. Uh-huh. I've I done two since I was making two two uh, casserole dishes. Yeah. And onion, same thing. And celery, I only bought one, and I used, I just took them out, and they were like three quarters of an inch that cut them. Yeah. Yeah, and then I took them and cut them finer. Okay, yeah. and yeah. I only put I put twenty out on each each one. You yeah, know, each I chunk one. them in a food processor and just get them all yeah. all together. Well, I've done about the same thing yeah. with just a knife. I cut yeah. them real thin and and cut them up. Hmm. Yeah. But it actually y'all got okay. me want to go home and cook. Now. Well, no, 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 because hey, here's the deal. I love dressing duck. Oh, okay? I do too. Preach. Okay, so I normally let Phil do it, but like I always tell him when he's I'm there when he's making it. He'll say, well, what, what am I missing? And I said, well, you're missing a little too much. You need some salt, a little more salt and a little more pepper. And hit it again about three times with some more sage. You never, him and Kay are both scared to death of making it over. 
Well, sage is one of them things, though, that yeah, once you, you tip the careful. scales that way, well, no, no. It's, it's too yeah. far. Yeah, you but ain't never coming coming back. Back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but here's the thing. They they, they just, they real light on it, you know. And I, I, I like the So taste you're a man that. that likes bold flavors. Well, That's no, what no. you're telling Oh, yeah. Me. Well, the I, sage, I want to taste the sage. He yeah. drinks Bloody Mary mix just Oh, hey, straight. I love it, too. That's what saved me during the uh, COVID-19 <laughs> deal. See? We ain't talking about that in a minute. Man hey. likes a bold flavor. But no, no, hey, I like spicy stuff, okay? Yeah. So, you know. But, but sage is just kind of like. Well, no, I know what you're talking about, because you can do it, overdo it, and then. Yeah, yeah. I bet yeah. into some, and I'm like, man, I well, know, then, now I know hey. what the mule deer out west feel like. Well, like, no, I no. It's kind of Now, here's the thing, <laughs> okay? It's not, you know, what I did was really good. I but like I said. You. I can't get off of it, okay. And like I said, these I'm are about interested. these are about this long hmm. and about I do that think, wide. I do think the condensed milk may be a little. Well, that's a tough yeah. edit because it, it is it, sweet. It did give it a smooth texture, yeah, and a little sweet. Okay, yeah. you I, make I, it. I like. like I okay. kind of like sweet stuff. But well, you no, make no, it. And it's the, not. It's no uh, overbearing because that's why I only used the, uh, like a half. Yeah. You make it do the same thing with just a little heavy cream. Though. Well, no, no, because you know? I was thinking I told Stone it's since not quite he said as sweet. I wouldn't. He said I'd go a third of that, or just put like four tablespoons of sugar in it. Oh, I that. may try that next time. Oh, okay. you, no, for your cornbread, just make jiffy. Yeah. There you go. Just oh, no, no. It, just make but, sweet cornbread. Oh, no, 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 no. Because no. my wife, I, I bought, she uh, you know, she cooks Betty Crocker's cornbread and muffin mix. Ah. And oh, the cornbread is excellent. Is it? Oh, no, no. Super yeah. sweet? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, not? No. It's excellent. I got okay. You. And she actually cooked this perfect. It was dark on the bottom. Yeah. And real dark brown on the top yeah that was crumbly okay delicious that's what i want mexican corn <clears throat> break. No. Ooh, buddy that's oh, no. what I all want. you'd have to do is put the ingredients in that that uh that uh uh lisa cooks that real good yeah i've just she never does. used a cornbread mix yeah. i just oh, always no 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 Brady crocker's cornbread and muffin mix yeah it's the real you start, deal. But you start to add eggs and oil to it, right? I mean, uh, it's just already measured for you. Well, I don't know what she added to it. She did add something to it. Yeah, something I'm, I'm like, sure you got to add eggs yeah, and oil yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, you I, will have to do that. Yeah. But it was, do that. it was excellent, okay? Yeah. Yeah. They just pre-measure everything yeah. for you. Yeah. You're buying it measured out. Well, it makes it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. They, you're just buying it measured they out. Just throw out some of that deer, ground deer meat. Man, my grand my granddaddy used to take that cornbread and dip in buttermilk. My daddy, my mm -hmm. mate. That's what he did with the. That's what he did with I the can, leftover cornbread no, no, every I night. Could not, I can't. I can't have a buttermilk. Me oh, either. Good. My niece drank it because we were uh, telling them about how nah, our papa used to. It's healthy for you. Dip Real his cornbread in buttermilk, and my niece, she's eight. She was like, mm, "This is good." Oh no, no, no! I can't have it. Eight daddy, years old drinking mama, buttermilk. Daddy, Cottage daddy, just cheese. Just what you talking about? Any cornbread no. left over? That's where it's going. That was dinner time. Dinner yeah. at, at supper oh, yeah. time, you, the dessert was cornbread and yep. buttermilk, That's whatever right. was my left from lunch. My mom and dad did it all the time. But yeah. my, my grandma made a pan of cornbread every day at lunch. Yeah. Every day. Well, that's like my grandmother. She she never woke up a day in her life that she didn't put on a pot of pinto beans. Yeah. Pinto beans. Pinto beans, and like you're talking about, then a pan She of made her cornbread in them biscuit cookers like uh, Mac used to make. She'd well, make her cornbread. Uh, she that. done. Uh, Mama done hot water bread. Yeah, hot water corn. She did that too. Hot, hot water bread. Yeah. You know, we called it. Look. We great. we grew up calling it dog bread because when it was <laughs> left over, she threw it out to the dogs. Whatever. Because she's like, and it don't warm up. We called hot water cornbread hush puppies. Too, son. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. We that, didn't ever have no thrown out, thrown over. Right. Well, well they're towards hot the, water bread. Mm. Yeah, they're towards the end. She couldn't. Well, she couldn't. Uh. uh edit her recipe she yeah. was still cooking like it was all of us there yeah. and it was yeah. you know oh no me her couldn't ever come her. down yeah, yeah. yeah. She, couldn't make a smaller no, batch no edit oh no no, no, no. Yeah. so yep. she just whatever it eat just well, I'd the like, the I'd dog. like grandmama shores she what oh, good grief, 87 i think when she died and everything in that she cooked in was big iron uh, dutch oven mm -hmm. stuff and she oh, yeah. still cooked that stuff so, till she died amen you know, uh -huh. She did. That was the coolest thing. She went to bed. You know, we'd had a big meal at her house, and she said, "Well, all right, hon, I'm going to bed. You know, I'll see you in the morning if the Lord's with it." Died in her sleep. There you go. Yeah. Happy so as a lark. Hey, 
Went to bed, kissed all the kids good night, went to bed, you know. Hmm. Went to bed, went to sleep, never woke up. Woke up with Jesus. Yeah, woke high. That's right. Resurrection. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> That's I, the way to go. Go to sleep and then talk, oh, good grief. Where am I? You're in heaven, son. Hey. <laughs> You're in heaven, man. <laughs> now, that, that'll be a trip, boys. Amen. Yeah. Well, look, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> hey, Si. Yeah. Tell them about it. You getting caught up on your sleep now that duck season's oh, closed? What are you about? Yeah. On my bed, boys, the midnight. <laughs> it's firm. I so you, sleep like an angel. So that helix, you, it's, you're it's even good. better rested during duck season than you have been oh, yeah. ever before. Huh? Yep. Well, helix sleep, they're legit. Look, the beautiful thing about helix sleep, they have a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for Johnny D when you could buy one made for yourself? Tailor made for you. No. There you go. With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep. Everybody's unique, and Helix knows that, so they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Mattress is great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains, and even a Helix Plus mattress for us plus size sleepers mm. you know how it is Galvin. that's me and you buddy heck yeah me and Galvin finally sleep on the same mattress and not touch each other it's look fantastic. at y'all go <laughs> look i took the helix quiz and i was matched with the midnight model because i wanted something that was the medium to firm level and i sleep on my side or my back either one so and if you have a wife like mine that curls up in a ball every night and wakes up looking like a hedgehog, you know, that, that helps her too. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you order the mattress that you're matched to and the mattress comes right to your door ship for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store again. Helix is awesome, but you don't have to take our word for it. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving sleep. Just go to helixsleep.com slash duck take their two minute sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life they have a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights absolutely risk-free they'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it but you will helix has financing options and flexible play plans so a great night's sleep is never far away helix is offering up to 200 dollars off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck once again helixsleep.com slash duck for up to two hundred dollars off welcome back folks we're here. <laughs> it's the favorite segment of the week we are in that inbox hello at duckcallroom.com is the address com. johnny Jason d Ma what uh, you got from the fans johnny d well so you know, we had a lot of really weird stuff sent in of people's dogs sitting on their feet. So now we got cats. Uh-oh. No, just more dogs. More dogs. But my man, uh, I had a friend send in, and I never thought about this, and now I've lost the email because, you know, that's what I do every week. Mordecai from 17 years old from Illinois. Illinois. Mordecai. Is, it, is the old. S silent? I have no idea. So he's from Illinois. Uh, he said he just wanted to let us know that the reason dogs sit on your feet while you're in the bathroom is because they're pack animals, like wolves, and whenever a wolf goes to the bathroom, all the other wolves protect them because they're vulnerable. Vulnerable. Say vulnerable. That so your dog's just fast. there to protect oh, you, Oh, okay. He's Martin. there for protection. Okay. He's like, oh, man, you don't want to get snuck up on while you're on the toilet. I'm going to go make sure that doesn't happen. That's what the lock's for. Well, that dog don't know dogs from the woods. Man. I say that though, but he she always finds her way in there, so I may be vulnerable. And, <laughs> and Michael from North Texas sent that in too, so apparently it's a thing. Okay, that's why they the, they're there to protect you. I wish they'd sit at the door. Like I got the personal space for me to the door. Yeah, like. I can handle myself even with my pants down. I got that. Like, but if you can keep people from getting to that door, I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Guard the door. What else if my you got pants are down, there? I'm in trouble in a fight situation. Um, Nick, you nurses and little Debbie Christmas cake ice cream. No, nope, not a thing. Nope. Nobody's got it yet, boys. Not a thing. Well, uh, <laughs> Yeah, said it don't exist. He threw me all off. Uh, Taylor <laughs> from Canover, North Carolina. 
Uh, he just wanted to give a shout out to NICU nurses. But he also bought one, two, three, four, five, six. He bought nine of the ice creams that I so desperately want to try. No, and he is been, willing to send us some. Uh oh. But he doesn't know the address. Mm. 117 Kings Lane, West Monroe, Louisiana. 71292. Attention, Martin. Yeah, that, I'm fine with that. I'm 100% okay with attention, um, Martin, on there. We Just, may can even follow up with our UPS shipper number, so we'll cover the cost for it. 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 Will him, will him cover the cost. It's not, not, it's it's not or real. if you use our friends at stamps.com, we got you there, too. It's not real. Okay. Oh, God, so that ain't real, Because we do get a bunch of emails asking how to send us stuff. There which, you go. If you figured out how to email us or call us, then probably could have looked at the address. Yeah. But... 117 Kings Lane, West Monroe, Louisiana, 71292. Okay. We are you, south of the interstate. It'll never arrive. It's not real. It's not real. If it boy, does, you'll dead. never know about it. Yep. We're looking if forward it. If it arrives on a non podcast day, you will not be aware yeah, of it. Yeah, please make sure it arrives <laughs> next day or and send it on a Tuesday. But I will gladly but let you know. He'll take care of it, boys. Yeah, how it is. How it is. All right, uh, Debbie's mad at me because I talked bad about Pittsburgh. It's just a joke, Debbie. Uh, it's a joke. Is she little? Times. I have no, huh? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right over his Man. Head. All right, here it's we go. It's a Monday, boy. Isaiah. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Isaiah from Arkansas, the old Jonesboro. I know that. Oh, they're well. up there. No, there ain't. Not anymore. Not, Not now. Anymore. That place a gar. It's a gar hole. Gar hole. <laughs> it's a gar Jones Bros. Ahead, gar John. hole, ahead, Isaiah. Ahead, All right. He grew up without a father or really even a reliable father figure. Uh, he feels that has played a part in the anger issues he has today as a 20-year-old man. He's always had trouble grasping the concept of God in church. I do find myself gravitating towards that uh, and, and likes to hear people talk about Jesus, but... He wants to let go of anger and standoffish feelings that he has towards people in authority. He thinks it comes from his father. Uh, do we have any advice on where to start? We all have the same father. God the father. Yep. Do you want to look at an example of anger management? Look at the good Lord. Look at what he did through his son here. Now, that's a rough deal not having a father figure. We all were blessed with pretty solid fathers and father figures in our lives. Yep. I, I understand that. And and I know that not everybody gets that. So the answer may seem a little easy or not, you know, not really thoughtful. But there is a reason that God is referred to as the father throughout the whole book and and why we should seek him and and his love for us is like that of a father to his sons and his daughters so i mean i think and i think that's why isaiah you're probably drawn to the thought of jesus and all of that i i think because the father you're longing for is there um just my opinion on the situation so si your name says a lot isaiah yep Okay, and I'm wondering about, you know, uh, the only thing I can tell you about, you know, you've got some problems, okay, with the anger, especially like uh, with the authority. And, you know, I could say the same thing about myself, okay, because I spent 24 and a half years in the military. You know, I've always had trouble. That's just maybe because you're a male, okay, and you you may be one of those that like to be in charge. Okay, alphas. You know, alpha male. So yeah. you know, but like Martin was talking about. Okay, you know, you got to understand. God the Father wants the best for all of us. Okay, and I, I look at that. That's what one of the things that amazes me at Jesus's highest and best moment when he died to save all of us, his father could not look at him. Okay? So I, I look at that, and it always tears me up because that was that was his son's greatest moment, but the father couldn't look at him because he had the sins of the world on his shoulders. 
okay? And for a father not to have the moment, the greatest moment of his son's life because he fulfilled the plan that the father and him and the Holy Spirit had agreed upon, you know, that had to be a killer for God the Father, okay? Not to be able to see him at, at his finest moment. Okay. But I hope that helps you, Aaron, my man. Yeah. And I would be willing to bet, Isaiah, if you get plugged in with a group up there in Jonesboro, you will find yeah. some father figures well, and- that 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 can help you. And you you can – they're there. And hey, I'll add one thing in there, caution, just a caution to you, okay? <clears throat> Don't ever put all your eggs in one basket. By that I mean, okay? Don't place too much trust in the human being because mm-hmm. we'll fail you. Every yeah, time. Every single Okay, one every us. time, okay? So you got to take this with a <laughs> – you know, a t- tablespoon of salt. Okay, <laughs> I'm I, just saying. I don't that recipe you know, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, you know, because we're all flawed. Amen. Okay, so you know, but that's my word of advice to you, my man, and I hope it helps you. Yeah, yeah. Lots of good people in Jonesboro, Arkansas. I know a lot of folks up there. Yeah, yeah. So, well, and you're in a pretty good area. Anger is not a sin, right? I got, no. a, got a good ice cream Well, place. it is. Yes, it well, is. Well, it says, yeah. in your anger, do not sin. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. So you can get upset and mad. It's how you react to it. Yeah. It's, I, it's, I'm, I'm not an angry person. I've never struggled with it. It's not me. It's not my personality. I have a father who leads a group every Friday night of angry dudes. And they get together and they talk about, okay, how do we deal with this? So that yeah. might be something you want to look into. And, and I, I have no problems. My dad is the first to like invite people. He's like, and me and my dad have talked about it, and I don't get it. Like I'm like, why? Why you get mad? Yeah, at that? Why? How? And and he's sense. like, your brain's wired totally different. So what he does is he gets with people who get it. Yeah. So that would be my advice: find people that get you and understand what you're going through. Yeah. And they can help you. Yeah. Look up a Celebrate Recovery thing yeah. around you. See, I bet they've got an anger group. Anger and control issues. Every Friday night at WFR Church here in Western Yeah. Run. Or what? if you make the little four-hour and 45-minute drive down to here, you can go there on a Friday night. Yeah. Ask for David Owen. Ask for Big Dave. He's helped, a, he's helped a lot of people with anger, and we patched a lot of holes in this building when we bought it. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Do we have another one? Uh, no, we no, we don't. Send us, send us out with a Bible verse. Speaking we're, of we're Big Dave, he sends me a, at five forty six a.m. this morning. This is funny. This is I did not look up this verse until about three minutes ago. I was like, let's just see what Dad sent me this morning. We talked about people being great at what they do, people having gifts. We talked about dads. Here's the verse of the day that Big Dave sent me this morning. First Peter four ten. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Amen. <laughs> How perfect was that for the hey, day? Hey, Amen. That's, pretty cool. That's why we sit here with these microphones yep. every week, folks. That's pretty cool. We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>